Hello, my friends, and welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create an end card for your videos using iMovie. We're going to be putting three different videos on the one end card. One of the videos is going to be larger, as you can see here on the left, and that's going to be a continuation of your actual video. The other two are thumbnails that are other videos that you might want one of your viewers to click on or show them some kind of little teaser about your video. So let's go ahead and just see what that looks like really quick. I'm going to go ahead and make it big for you and start playing this video. One of the things you notice is that the video in the large square does have audio because that's a continuation of your original video. The smaller thumbnail videos on the right, those do not have audio because you don't want that to compete with your original video. So what we're going to be doing is creating the end card separately and then we're going to create a movie out of the completed end card and then import that movie into our original video. Let's get started, shall we? Here we are in iMovie, and I've got my end card. I did turn the sound off, and it's about 21.1 seconds. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding two more movie clips to this end card, so that when I upload it to YouTube, I can add some annotations so that a person can click on them and go to another video. So let's get started. As I mentioned in iMovie, you cannot add more than one picture in a picture. So right now I've already got one and I've created my end card so far. So as I also mentioned, this is a multiple step process. It's very simple, but it just takes a little time. Since this end card is already created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and output it to a file. And I'm going to go ahead and output it on my desktop just to make it really, really easy. And I'm going to call it uh, PIP2 and go ahead and save that. And now it's going to go ahead and output that to the desktop. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and import it into this project. So I'm going to go to my desktop and here it is, PIP2. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and delete what's here. I'm going to find the PIP that I just created and imported. I'm going to select the entire clip, and I'm going to put it on my timeline. So now you can see that I have my end card so far. Okay, so now it's time to put the first thumbnail movie onto my end card. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Import Video. And I've got my videos on an external drive. So I'm going to go and find the video that I want to import. And I'm going to import Art Project Fun. Once I import that, I'm going to just go ahead and select a portion of this. I'm going to select the 21.1 seconds of that video and I'm going to add it to my timeline. Now that I imported the 21.1 seconds of the clip that I want to play in the thumbnail video, I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up to modify and detach the audio because I don't want that audio to play. And then once it's detached, I'm going to go to the audio, select it, right click and select delete. So now I won't have any audio on that because I don't want any audio to play. I'm going to select the clip and move it above the outro card. You may have to move it over a little bit. Select the clip again, go up to the icon bar and select the video overlay settings and then select picture in picture. And now you can see it's a nice thumbnail size and I can make it bigger or smaller, but I'm gonna just make it nice and small. So now let's see how that plays. So now you can see that the thumbnail video is playing and I can make any adjustments that I might want to make. 
you want to make sure that you make your adjustments here because after you output this video, it's going to be a done video before you put your next thumbnail in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these overlay settings again. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. I think it's just a little bit too big. Okay, so now I am ready to output this. So I'm going to go ahead and output this to a file. Again, I'm going to output it to my desktop and I'm going to call this PIP3 just so that I can tell everything apart. Once it's completed, now I'm gonna go and import that completed video. I put it on the desktop and it's called PIP3, here it is. So I've imported that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete what's in this timeline now because I don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna focus on the new one that I created. I'm gonna select the entire clip, put it in the timeline, and let's see what it looks like. So now you can see that the clip is playing. And now it's time to add one more video thumbnail. So I'm gonna to go to my import and I've got these on an external drive. And let's see, I'm going to import DIY bubble blower. That was a fun one. We have a lot of fun making these with the kids. And once I find the video, which is right here, I'm going to grab about 21.1 seconds of it. And I'm going to drag it to the timeline. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the video. And I'm gonna go up to modify, detach audio. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that audio. Now I'm going to select the entire clip and move it above the end card. Select the clip again, go up to my icon bar, select the video overlay settings, select picture in a picture, and now I can move this right below the other one that I have. And if you want to position it really well, make it the exact size, you can always put it right near the first one just to make sure that you're sizing it completely and then move it wherever you want. So now let's see what we've got here. And I can turn the sound on just so you can hear it. Now that the outro is completed, what we need to do is output the file. Again, I'm simply going to output it to the desktop and I'm just going to call it PIP Final and go ahead and save it. Once this outro file is saved, I want to go back to my original video and I'm going to add the outro replacing the last 21.1 seconds of that full video. All right, now here we are in the original video where I'm going to add the new outro that we just created. So the outro, the end card, however you like to call it, it's about 21.1 seconds. So I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna grab 21.1 seconds. This is really the easiest way to do that. And I'm actually just gonna split it right there because I don't need that part anymore. I'm going to select it and go ahead and delete it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and import the new outro or end card, however you like to call it, that I just created. So I'll go to the import and it's on my desktop and I named it PIP Final. So I'm gonna go ahead and import that. Here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this entire clip and I'm gonna drag it into my timeline. So now let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. This is Lisa Jarrett. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create multiple picture-in-picture -picture for your iMovies. If you have questions, please do leave a comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please do subscribe. See you next time.